It always starts with a conversation from me. And our desire is to make sure that we impact the world, the industry that's called higher education, in a way that impacts the world, the student. So if I can find a partner that wants to make a difference in higher ed, then that's who I go with. That's who I focus on. That's who we're partnering with. Um, so through that conversation, I get to hear things like, you know what, our primary challenge is funding. We just need to make more money through this online mechanism. Okay, let's figure out how to do that in a, in a way that helps you bring the best that you have in your institution to the marketplace. Some people say, you know what, our challenge is we want to take the stodgy, mechanized thing that we use as higher education and breathe a little life into it for the next generation student. And for that purpose, okay, well, let's figure out how we can take what you do well, like your faculty development, your technological implications, the, the infrastructure of your system, and let's use that in a way that helps the next generation student through different means of technology. Maybe we use an outsourcer like um, Coursera or someone like that, or maybe we just help you develop whatever your technological, um, what, whatever your technology is, is necessary for you guys to do that thing. The thing that I can do is say what others can't because they need their paycheck. <laughs> I mean, it's just, at some point, there's hard lessons that an organization needs to learn. And that it's holding up the mirror to say, you know what? We could do a whole lot better of a job if you were to do X or Y. But internally, sometimes there's a difficulty with the hierarchy or the structure or whatever. To, sit, to give that hard message, but we can share that message in a way that is, I like to use the word loving. <laughs> well, you know we're on your side, and you know because of the conversations with previously, we want you to be better. So we're only holding up that mirror to make sure that you do bring that to the world. We consult with organizations of higher education to help them make the most out of their programs. So whatever program they have, wherever they are, who's their target audience, we help them figure out who their target audience is, and then deliver content that makes sense in a way that makes sense for that target audience. So. One institution that we've worked with, their barrier to success in this space, it really was tradition. Um, the opportunity that they had to move from here to here, it, the only reason why they weren't able to make that leap was because tradition was keeping them from that. So the first three months of the engagement was really to understand from all parties, academic partners, administrative partners, people responsible even for online education and the technological implications of that. We had to have those conversations to make sure that everybody knew what the other person was thinking and then share that anonymously. The anonymous sharing of the information then allowed people to see and say, well, we could probably partner here, or that's not really a concern, or this is an issue, but how can we solve it? And so from those conversations and from then another two months of strategy development, we helped that institution go from what was 10,000 students to what now is 15,000 students in a year and a half. As far as my experience in America has been, Tradition is what is killing the opportunity that's in the marketplace. We're so used to doing it a way that it had the way, the way that it already has been done, that moving from that system to get to this other opportunity, it's really difficult. And it's a mind shift. It's, it's mentally, how do we translate our processes in a way that facilitates online education? But if we don't do it now, it's going to come on, come upon the institutions, and now they're going to be scrambling to modify processes and impacts and all that stuff so that the student that's learning online now, my kids, 10, 9, 7, and 5, they're learning on their iPads by, through games and all of that stuff. So when they get to the institution, it should be there. But if it's not there, the institution is going to have to scramble to catch up with the learner as opposed to being in front of the learner and teaching in a way that makes sense to them. Does that make sense?